Today I'm going to show you a home that has one of the largest wow factors we have on the market here in Arlington, Virginia. This is a brand new construction home. It just came live on the market. It's a five bedroom, seven bath, over 6,500 square foot of interior space house. Um, it has a modern, ultra modern luxury design element to it. And you can tell that the builder is quite meticulous. The builder of this specific home is Maze Builders, and they have this listed on the market right now at 3.279 million. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna to try to make the video as quick as possible. It's probably still going to end up being 15 minutes because there's a lot to show you. But the reason I want to, you can tell from the outside, but the reason I wanna show you the inside is because this house is one that actually grabs you and screams at you, I am luxury. So that's why I'm excited to show it to you. Uh, so let's step inside. All right, so this is immediately as we start into the exterior of the home, you're greeted by this white stone and black combination of color scheme. Everything designed in the home, you can tell, is very ge geometric, a bit hardened, but it works. Uh, it has straight edges, cut edges that are fairly sharp in the whole exterior design. As soon as you walk up here, you have your first initial balcony. This is immediately as you walk inside the home. When you walk inside this house, your eyes are not even sure what to look at first because everything that you initially see just makes you go, wow. So, real quickly, let's go into the sitting room. These chandeliers that they've installed here, I've seen these before, but I love these chandeliers. This um, multi-tiered ring chandelier. They have a few of them throughout the home in different uh, patterns. I really like them. You're gonna see this recurring in the house an incredible way to make something boring, a wall, really pop and be decorative. I think they have all these, um, let me check. I think these are Formica. That's what they have these uh, coated with. And then of course the background lights sitting behind these chiseled out pieces. The glass panel going up the staircase, always impressive. You only see that done a few times around here. Every single time it's done, I really like it, but it has to be in the right house in order for it to fit. Again, the huge panels of Formica going up, taking something which would typically be very boring and plain and really making it pop. Raindrop lights, love them. Going back here, you have small closet, your first half bathroom and immediately this is just the powder room of the main level but you're already getting the sense of what you're going to expect throughout the rest of this house if this is just the powder room for a guest coming in and out well then what we're about to see is going to be nice look at this incredible let's just gravitate right over here to the kitchen first I mean, that futuristic element to these, to these pendant lights are, man, I really, really like them. They would work nowhere else unless you had a giant island, which is exactly what this is. Sleek, somewhat, um, I mean, they do have hardware, but sleek, flat panel-like cabinetry. Thermidor appliances going throughout, pot filler. They've done um, two different color schemes here in the kitchen with the gray slate bouncing off the pearl white. I like that. Double oven. This is your pantry back here, customized, built-in shelving. It goes back a little bit. I know they were cleaning in here, but nonetheless. Look at this refrigerator. I mean, it's a restaurant refrigerator. It's huge. Like, it's, it's massive. It's only one side. 
Back over here, you have a beautiful sunroom <clears throat> with these nearly floor to ceiling windows that I would say are probably, oh gosh, those are probably four and a half by seven, four and a half by seven and a half maybe. They're big. That one's even bigger. It's probably six by seven and a half or so. Really cool outdoor area. And of course, venting coming through, which I didn't notice until now, which is a positive because these rooms can either get very hot or very cold, depending on the season. Head back over this way real quick. Beautiful subway tiled fireplace. I could see this either being a lounge area or of course the, the proper TV room. Sometimes people don't want their TVs to take away from their fireplaces, but it looks like this has been designed so that you could have one <coughs> TV there and another TV here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and, um, oh, by the way, this has an elevator that travels. Uh, it's locked right now and I'm not even sure which floor it's on. I would have to call it down to get it to open, but uh, elevator here goes down to the basement, goes to the top floor as well. So full coverage of that. Oh, Butler's pantry. And the dining room and the lighting fixtures they used in here. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And the window light that they've installed is incredible. This is one of those houses, I mean, we're going through 6,500 plus square feet. This is one of those houses where I'm trying to make the video somewhat quick, but there's a lot to see. Uh, these are white oak hardwood floors traveling throughout, if you were wondering. Common theme that's been happening in our luxury homes here in the Northern Virginia and DC area. See this? common space here that you'll see in designs of upstairs uh, levels of homes that drifts off into different bedrooms and whatnot. This can be a very plain, wasted space. But with the builder developer, this is built by Mays, Mays Builders, by the way. Um, they've made it interesting, which I love. Elevator again, office cove. Could be maybe a homework area for kids if you have them. Otherwise, I'd use it probably for my own personal office. First bedroom. Recurring theme, giant windows, lots of light, ceiling design. I like the craftsmanship that they've done in every single ceiling in this house. First full bath we're seeing. Go right over here. Another secondary bedroom. And their bathroom. Should we save that one? Let's save that one. <laughs> Your Laundry room is the size of a small takeout restaurant. Another secondary room. Didn't turn on the light here, but here we go. This is what the closets are looking like in the secondary rooms. And of course you could build additional shelving in there if you wanted. Master bedroom, let's get there. Nice. Swinging around here, you have a private balcony to your master bedroom. 
This, um, this is about a quarter acre lot that you're sitting on here. For Arlington, it's pretty good. Please look at this shower. Look at this. That's an office in there. I'm gonna have to step in. I'm going to have to step in. The camera's not gonna show how big this is. Probably one of the largest top, I don't know, top three, four, um, enclosed showers that I've seen. I wonder if I can somehow get the phone to sit up by itself while I'm trying to show you just how big this shower is. So we're going to, uh, let's see here, see if I can do this. Bear with me. I just want you to see how big this is. Do you see this? You would need to invite a party of 12 for this. Incredible. Two separate sink spaces. LED uh, lighting, I don't have one. Let me see if I can turn these on, there you go. All right, and then you have, of course, anti-fog mechanisms and whatnot um, when you've got the, the steam and the shower and everything really hot. Second one, second vanity. Look at this walk-in closet. This is what you need right here. This is what you need. Full-scale mirror, mirror, by the way. So many. Big, luxurious closets miss this. If you're gonna be in a, essentially a room as a closet where you're getting dressed, you probably don't wanna constantly step out to see what you've put on and see if it fits. Here you have this full scale mirror and you can look at everything that you're trying on. Okay, let's get down to the basement as quickly as we can. Okay, so I, mean, I believe this is going to be uh, yeah, extra storage, so we're not gonna worry about that. Um, immediately coming down here, they're not cutting corners with the basement. It's a level five Italian tile right there, not cheap. So they're keeping up the, uh, the quality of materials used even as we go into the basement. First bedroom, first basement bedroom. It's bathroom with the common theme that we saw of another bathroom upstairs. There's two entrances into the garage. The garage is asked, uh, accessed by the basement. This is going to be one of them. The other garage access is actually on that side over there, which I'll open the door for. <clears throat> Let's head over here real quick where you have your own personal gym. And uh, it's quite large. I mean, it's the size of a nice sized bedroom, like a large bedroom. You can see me standing in it. You could fit, oh gosh, I would say comfortably five good sized pieces of, uh, of equipment in here. Maybe one in the center, you know, that had pull downs and, and flies and whatnot. You could have a treadmill, uh, pull up machine, dumbbells. It would all fit in here just fine. Heading over into the entertainment space. 
to, I don't remember whether these are Thermador or, no, Edge Star. Two Edge Star wine coolers here. Each of these is going to hold 150 bottles of wine, so I think you'll be just fine unless you're really trying to end it all. Um, dishwasher here with the the downstairs wet bar set up, which is nice and convenient. Display case for anything, liqueurs, decorative items you might have that you want to show off. The box ceiling down here, I like the touch because they hadn't done that throughout any of the other portion of the house with the ceiling designs. You have another half bath right here, common area bath. I don't have the lights on for these, but these also light up with the, the recessed lighting behind them. How cool is this? What a way to liven up a space once again. This could have been a very boring room. Of course, could be utilized, but it could be boring without, without this lighting system being attached. Really neat. As we head over here, this is going to be the other, well, you have your mud room, of course. I should show that. And then the other entrance from the garage, which of course is a construction site, but the house was just finished, so that's the way it is. And that is the tour of this modern, ultra-modern luxury home. So let's flip this back around once I get back to the main level of the house. So there you have it. Five full bedrooms, seven bathrooms, five of which are full baths, two half baths, over 6,500 square feet of living space in the interior. Brand new construction build was just put on the market last month. List price is sitting at 3.279 right now. Um, we're in North Arlington. You're on a quiet street, but at the same time, you have access to everything that you would need. Nice, quiet neighborhood here. Um, that's it. You've seen everything. This is a home that is a wow home. When you have people over, and probably just as you come home every day yourself, you will constantly be saying, wow. If you have any questions, let me know.